Just like social media, a lot of people said it's not here to stay, nobody needs to learn it. Well, look at all the agents that are now struggling to learn it because it's now a necessity and a must have. AI is going to be doing the same. It's going to make a lot of agents irrelevant who do not adapt it to their business. AI or artificial intelligence has taken the real estate industry by storm. And if you're not learning how to adapt to it and adopt it into your business, you genuinely will fall behind in real estate in the years to come. Now, the craziest part is most agents agents just think that AI or artificial intelligence is chat GPT. And while that is a component of it, it is actually just an LLM or a language learning model. And I want to make sure that you're using a ton of really cool tools to make your life a ton easier when it comes to scaling your real estate business. So what I'm going to be doing today is breaking down seven super cool AI tools that you can be implementing into your business to not only save a ton of time, but make a ton more money and generate more leads, especially when it comes to creating a high quality content in a fraction of the time for incredibly cheap. So without further ado, let's show you how to use AI as a real estate agent effectively in your business to take your real estate business to a completely new level. What's up guys? My name is Mike Sherb with eXp Realty. I train thousands of agents every year to scale their business the modern way. And that now includes AI or artificial intelligence. So this is super, super powerful. It's a revolution that's happening in real estate. Just like social media, a lot of people said it's not here to stay. Nobody needs to learn it. Well, look at all the agents that are now struggling to learn it because it's now a necessity and a must have, a need to have, not just a nice to have or something that is fun to dabble with. AI is going to be doing the same. It's going to make a lot of agents irrelevant who do not adapt it to their business. Now, the way that I like to look at AI is that it's almost like the tractor. And what I mean by that is centuries ago, people were farming by hand. Everything was done by hand. And then the tractor came along and there was a certain amount of farmers that adapted to it and learned how to use the tractor. And there's a certain amount of farmers that said, I'm not gonna learn how to use that. I'm gonna continue to do it the old way. Well, the ones that didn't adapt to it became irrelevant and got replaced and they were out of jobs. The ones that learned how to adapt to the new technology still have jobs, still are farmers, they're just doing it differently, more efficiently, more effectively. So it's not that AI is going to replace real estate agents, but the ones that don't adapt to it will become irrelevant in some way, shape or form in terms of their lead generation strategies, the content they put out and all of the things that go into getting clients, servicing clients and retaining clients, which are the three key activities that agents need to do. So what you want to do is be the ones that learn how to use the tractor or use AI, which shifts what you do as a real estate agent, but makes you more effective and more efficient and keeps you ahead of the curve and also on trend with where the industry is going. Now, without further ado, let's dive in to the seven tools that I personally use and think you should be doing as well, because it makes a ton of difference when it comes to scaling your business. The first is going to be Opus Clip. Now we'll walk through a little bit of a tutorial here, but this is a super powerful tool that I personally use and all of the links will be in the description. You can click them and you can browse around, check them out, use them, enroll in them for any of the ones that are not free. But this is a really powerful tool because one of the things that most agents struggle with is repurposing content, taking their full length YouTube videos, for example, and then chopping it up into a bunch of different smaller content, vertical short form content for TikTok reels and shorts. Well, that takes a ton of time until you use a platform like Opus Clip, which is you essentially just take your YouTube video, take the link of it once it's active on your YouTube channel and just put it into Opus Clip and suddenly you've got eight to 12 fully repurposed short form video clips from that YouTube video that are ranked in order of the ones that are going to be the most engaging. So it's not that you need to use all of them, but you can take your favorite three or four or two. So that way, every single time you put it in the YouTube video, you've got two to four short form videos to post on other platforms. And that's how you can start to very easily leverage AI to repurpose content and stay hyper consistent on all platforms without getting overwhelmed or burnt out. Okay, so starting with the Opus clip, you can see here I've got my YouTube channel up. And this is really powerful. So what you can do, and we can look at the website here, I've got it linked below, and you're able to come through and essentially you can see, try now and get two hours of free credits, which is going to be two hours of YouTube videos. So what you could do is come over to your YouTube channel, and let's say we wanted to take maybe a shorter video just to show you what this would be like in terms of this one, proven steps. If you're struggling as a real estate agent, watch this. So I can take this link, 
come over here, post it in good old uh, Opus Clip, get free clips. And then what it's gonna do is you're going to see, um, you know, I'll kind of log in here, um, but you're able to log in. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna go through and over the course of a couple minutes, you can see here, um, you know, usage 11 minutes, get clips in one click. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a bit of a timeline of saying, okay, it's experiencing high demand if you are, for example, maybe a newer person and you can see the time remaining. So estimated wait time, um, we'll show you this. And long story short, what I'll do is I will show you what this looks like after the fact, but it's gonna, once your video's in the queue, just by pasting it into, Opus clip, it's gonna go through and it's not only gonna repurpose your videos, but simultaneously it's going to repurpose them and then rank them in order of the ones that are the most engaging. So you can see here, it's now fetching the video. And then once it gets the video, it's gonna go through and it's gonna take a couple of minutes here, nine minutes, and then once it's processed, we will start to show you and walk through what this is gonna look like. But it's so, so powerful for repurposing your content with literally just one click. And again, you wanna make sure to check the link in the description to go directly to it, and that's gonna make sure you're not going to the wrong website as well. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, now you can see we've got a number of different clips pulled from that one YouTube video with just one click and you can also see that it's ranked based on score which is going to be the most accurate and engaging piece of content from that and you can see this is a low resolution preview you can click on it to watch this section and show you you know the 48 seconds that is clipped and you can download it as well and you can see here it actually ends up giving you a bit of a title too so you can use all of these for shorts for instagram reels for tiktok and you can come down and look at a number of different videos here usually just again not having to use all of them but maybe the top three or four when it comes to downloading them and then posting them on other platforms okay so number two is bigview.tv this is a super cool one i've done a couple tutorials in depth at length step by step so if you want to know how to use bigview and chat gpt in order to create either a month's worth of Instagram content or a month's worth of TikTok videos that will attract clients. Drop a comment below, say Instagram or TikTok or whichever one you want, and I will make sure to comment or reply to your comment with the videos that you can check out. But this is a really cool one because what it allows you to do a number of different functions, but the one that I like is you could take, for example, a script that we create using ChatGPT as I show in those tutorials, put it into Bigview TV, and then what it will do is it will actually turn your phone into a teleprompter that's transparent in nature so that that way you can essentially be reading as you're looking at the camera so you could deliver the perfect script without having to get a separate teleprompter without having to worry about writing out the script because chat tpt will do it if you know the right prompts which i give you in those videos but it gives you the ability to create incredibly engaging content by saying the right things, not worrying about it, and it just turns your phone into a teleprompter using AI. It is so, so powerful, and then once the video is done, it actually will overlay the captions and all the text and words on it so that it makes it nice and engaging and you can change the colors and styles to make it on brand and all of that kind of good thing. So let me show you what that looks like because it's a super powerful tool, especially knowing that short form is the name of the game right now. Okay, so looking at Big View, now the one thing I want to mention here is I've got full tutorials of how to actually use this for both TikTok and Instagram Reels, which can also double as shorts as well. But if you want those tutorials, drop a comment below, just say Instagram tutorial or TikTok tutorial, and I will show you that because I actually show you how to use a teleprompter, how to actually use ChatGPT to add this script into the teleprompter. But I just want to show you what this looks like, again, linked below. But you can see it's widely used by real estate agents, but essentially what it does, as you can see here, this clip, is that you can turn your phone into a direct script. So when you take the script from ChatGPT, you can see here the script rolling. As you're looking at the camera, you can change the pace of it, you can change the font size of it, but what it allows you to do is not just create an incredible piece of content saying the perfect words, but also as you will see in my full tutorial, you are also able to then go through and add text overlay to the actual video because that is just the teleprompter. You can add text overlay that is gonna be more like the colors and the pops and everything you're familiar with on short form directly in the app and then download it and post it. 
Really incredible tool. I love what this does. And again, if you want those tutorials, drop the comment below. Okay, so number three is called allright.ai. And I'll link again, everything in the description, the direct links. But what this allows you to do is take your YouTube video and then turn it into a properly written blog post. And then you can use different tools as I'm gonna talk about in order to kind of summarize it, condense it, audit it. But this is a really cool way to, again, create content at scale. You can use Opus Clip to go from YouTube video to multiple short form content. You can use Big View TV to automate how it looks in order to make sure you're delivering the perfect message. And then you can use All Right to take that YouTube video and turn it into a blog for your website so that you're not just tapping into YouTube SEO, but also Google SEO. So let's show you an exact example of what that looks like. Taking a quick peek at allright.ai, you can see here it's written a little bit quirky, so you want to make sure that you type it in the right way. Again, it is linked in the description, but it's A L W R I T E dot AI. So all and then write as if you're writing. But this is a really cool way to again take a YouTube video and instantly turn it into a blog. So you can see, you know, YouTube videos and blog posts, and you can turn this directly into a full length YouTube video. And the really cool part about this is as we go to one of the other platforms we're gonna talk about, you can actually make sure that this doesn't come across as a bot when you post it on your website because one of the big mistakes a lot of agents make is they just take blog posts that are written by All Right or ChatGPT and they'll just post it on LinkedIn, on you know their website or whatever else platform that they're using. And the problem with that is that Google does not want a bunch of AI written content that's not innovative, it's not authentic, it's not genuine, and 50 other agents in your market are posting the same thing. So you could use what we will talk about later in this video in order to make sure that it is humanized and that it doesn't get flagged by Google. But again, just with one click, this is a really easy and cool alternative to taking a YouTube video posting it in here, and then instantly you've got a blog. Okay, so as you can see here, once you set up your account, you can come through and you have a couple different options. You have either a transcript, you've got a video or audio, or you've got an import from YouTube. So what we could do is come through and we could paste the YouTube URL. So let's say we wanted to take the same video from our YouTube channel. We can come back here and paste the YouTube video link. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna start to generate the article. So you can see here, um, it literally within minutes has the article written and now you can save it. And this is just kind of a summarized version of your article. And then what you could do is if you would like to really spice it up, you could take this, paste it into chat GPT, and then add some additional context some introduction, some layers um, and different things that are going to make it a little bit more engaging. Also making sure that it's in the tonality of where you're looking to go with your business. But you can see here, it continues to write. Um, and then it's as the, you know, article gets complete. Um, this step two will be a check. And then once that check is done, the whole video has been transcribed and you can easily, again, use ChatGPT to turn this into a blog post. All right, number four, no surprise here, ChatGPT. Now, the one thing that I'm gonna recommend here is looking at a plugin called AIPRM. And what this does is it actually gives you a ton of different prompts in terms of YouTube script, blog content, outranking blog, and all these different kinds of subs categories so that when you're leveraging ChatGPT, you can actually already guide it in the right direction straight out the gate so that it knows what the outcome is that you're looking for, which is going to give you a little bit of a leg up and a competitive advantage against somebody that's just using ChatGPT itself in order to try and get some sort of output when it comes to the content. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use this plugin, what it looks like, and how it shows up on ChatGPT because it's going to make your home screen look a little bit different but it's so, so powerful when you start to understand how to properly use it. Okay, so when it comes to ChatGPT, there's a couple things that are gonna be important here. Now, mine's gonna look a little bit different from yours, um, and that's because I use AIPRM. There's a number of different kind of built-in prompts here. You can look at, um, you know, Yoast SEO content writer. You can look at, um, you know, a YouTube script writer, and you can look at outranking articles, different things like that. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because we've got a ton of tutorials on my YouTube channel about leveraging ChatGPT. I also do recommend using ChatGPT4 and a couple of the other plugins that I'm gonna be talking to you about. 
I do recommend paying for it because if you're not paying for it and you're using the free version, then uh, it's going to be a little bit slower and it can get bogged down. But for $20 a month, this is a very, very small price to pay um, when it comes to the power of this. But again, just showing you what this could do, looking at, you know, real through YouTube video ideas, we can come up here. And again, this is all about training ChatGPT as a realtor. So I'm a licensed realtor in Calgary, Alberta, and I post short form videos on Instagram. The goal is to create videos um, on educating people why they should move to Calgary and what they need to know about moving here, living here, all that good stuff, creating video lists and things like that. So I've got a number of different videos here that have been mapped out, but I think it's important to learn this part up here, which is making sure that you're actually training ChatGPT and talking to it saying, okay, I want, you know, this to be a 30 second video script. Oh, I don't like that there's scenes in there. Great, please remove and only provide the narrator script. Okay, this is actually what he used to plug into Big View. So as you can start to see here, pretty powerful stuff when it comes to leveraging ChatGPT, but I won't spend too much time on it because you're already familiar with it. All right, number five, we're getting to the really interesting stuff here. Anybody that has done their research on ChatGPT knows that the data goes up until about 2021. Well, TikTok wasn't that big that then. Market updates are this month, so you can't get any relevant market data. So what do you need to do? Well, there's a plugin for Chrome called Web Chat GPT. And what this does is it actually is an extension that brings all of the data up to right now. So that way, if you wanna write market reports, you can use it and ask the market data right now for your market, and it'll give you the up-to-date market information as of today. If you look at leveraging, you know, TikTok video ideas, well, it wasn't that big back in 2021, so it probably doesn't have too much data, but now you can use this in order to get incredible video ideas with something that is relevant to today because it'll give you all the data that leads up to now. So when it comes to leveraging ChatGPT for anything that requires data or anything that's relevant to recent, Web ChatGPT is an incredible plugin because now you can have the confidence that the data that you're getting is accurate in the event of something have changed between 2021 and 2023 or four, which it has, you want to make sure that you're giving the best, most relevant, up-to-date and accurate information when you're using this tool. And WebChatGPT is the best way to do it. Now, WebChatGPT is a really cool platform that I encourage everybody to use and to download it and add it to Chrome. So most people know, and if you don't, I'll explain it to you, that ChatGPT, the data gathering ends in 2021. Now, if you're gonna be doing different things like market updates or anything that requires, you know, TikTok, which is more present now than it was in 2021, or anything that is important and relevant to today, you need the accurate and updated information. Well, you can't do that just natively within ChatGPT, so what you need to do is download a Chrome plugin extension like Web ChatGPT. And what this does is you can see here that it gives you all of the relevant web search results based on right now. So if you're doing market updates or requiring anything that needs information that is within this year, within this month, even within this week, and you can't get it through ChatGPT, of course, without this. So highly encourage you to download this one. It's gonna save you a ton of time and it's gonna make sure that everything that you put out is the most accurate update and relevant information based on, again, the information back in 2021, the market was different. Everything was different. Interest rates were different. So if you're going to be properly advising your clients and leveraging AI to do so, you want to make sure you're doing it with the updated information. Number six is a really interesting one. It's called undetectable.ai. Now, what this is, is there's now websites, especially on Google, that will essentially audit if a blog or if an article was written by AI, because they want to censor that. They don't want a bunch of AI articles out there that have no personality, a bunch of copy and paste articles that are just gonna flood and clutter Google and all these other websites. So what happens now is that if it is very evident and obvious that your article was written by ChatGPT or some other LLM or AI tool, essentially it could be blocked and it can negatively hurt your website, your blog, or whatever you use to post it. So what you want to do is use undetectable.ai, where what it'll do is, as long as it's less than 10,000 characters, as I will show you, you can take the blog in there, post it, and what it will do using AI is it'll humanize it to make sure that it's undetectable by some of these platforms that are auditing all the different articles that are out there to make sure that when you post it on your website, it's not going to get flagged and hurt your business. This is gonna be incredibly important because so many agents are just 
mass posting blogs and articles and things that are written by ChatGPT, which is the same as the other 20 agents in the market that are using it. And it's going to negatively affect and ultimately hurt your business, which is not what you want. You want to use these tools to help your business, not hurt it. So you want to be using undetectable.ai every single time you're creating some sort of article or blog or post that's gonna be sent to your database or used on a website in order to make sure that it's not gonna get flagged and that it's humanized but you also wanna add your personality to it as well. Okay, so undetectable.ai, really important one because as I alluded to earlier, Google does not want a ton of people putting out the same content done by AI so that there's nothing that's unique, authentic, and genuine. It wants people to be putting out content that is humanized and tailored toward them. If not, it can get flagged and actually hurt your business, not help your business. So undetectable is gonna make it undetectable by Google search in order to make sure that it is not getting flagged by Google. It will make sure it shows up in any of the searches relevant to it. Okay, so I wanna show you a quick example. And let's say we wanted to come to a new chat and say, please write a blog post for a real estate agent in Calgary, Alberta, explaining maybe a 500 or a thousand word, explaining the top reasons why someone should move to Calgary. And we're gonna go through, it's gonna be searching and it's gonna be processing and boom. So looking at this, as you can see, it's gonna go through and give you a bunch of different resources showing you where it scraped information from in terms of like number one, okay, benefits of moving to Calgary. And we can come through and just copy and paste all of this into our article over here. So we're just gonna go through and boom and come over to undetectable AI, paste it in. Now, the one thing I wanna explain is that you do wanna make sure to chat with ChatGPT. I didn't train it there, I just asked for a blog post, but this is something that, again, is just a bit of a quick reference. You want to explain to ChatGPT who you are, where you're from, who you serve. You want to give it your website, your Instagram profile, your YouTube channel, in order to guide ChatGPT to make sure it's getting it. So what you can do is you can come here, agree to the terms of service, and now you can check for AI. And you can see here, okay, your content is detected, written by AI, which is not good, right? So we want to humanize it. Okay, so now what we need to do is humanize it to make sure that it is not going to get, uh, you know, essentially taken down by any sort of Google uh, search or anything. And what it's gonna do is, again, you can see for 30 seconds, it's gonna go through and it's gonna give you the original and then it's gonna copy the output. And now you can see that this is humanized and it is no longer detectable for all of these things that it was before. And now you can copy the output and you're good to go. Um, so now you can use that and you can actually post that on your website and it's not gonna be detected by anything that's gonna hurt your website, your personal brain, or any of the work that you put into your business. Number seven is a really cool one, YouTube summary. Essentially what this is, another Chrome extension, but what it will do is on anybody's YouTube videos, it will actually give you the summary of full length and bullet points of their YouTube video. So what you can do here is a lot of agents say, okay, I wanna use YouTube and I'm trying to put out content, but I wanna do five reasons to move to Denver, but I don't really know what five reasons to write. I see this other agent that did it for Dallas or Calgary, and I wanna do it to my market, but how do I change it to my market? Or maybe somebody that's already in your market has done it. How do you put your own spin on it? Those are two very common scenarios. Well, what you can do is use YouTube summary. You can actually download the summary of their videos, and then you can put it into ChatGPT and ask them to rephrase it or spice it up a little bit with your own personality. You can even just take the link to your YouTube channel, put it into ChatGPT and say, please write it in the tonality that aligns with the rest of the videos on my YouTube channel. Here's the link and it'll audit your YouTube channel. Put the bullet points from the other videos into the tonality and the style of your channel and then give you a new script that makes it unique to you. So let's dive in and take a look at what YouTube summary looks like. Okay, so the last one is gonna be YouTube summary with ChatGPT. So I'm gonna show you an example how this works, but as you can see, I've got it up here in my kind of Chrome extensions. Um, but if we come back here, you can download this. And essentially what it does is it summarizes YouTube videos and it gives you a couple different options in terms of how you want to approach it. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like. So we can come over here and look at, for example, maybe living in Ottawa, one of my YouTube channels that uh, does absolutely incredibly well. And we're gonna come through here and we're gonna go on videos and let's look at one of Peter's videos that's doing well. Maybe, you know, 
should have moved to Ottawa 10 reasons. So we're going to click on this. And then what's going to happen is in the top right hand corner here, you're going to see transcript and summary. And if you click kind of down, what it's going to do is it's going to give you the complete transcript of the video and you can copy this if you would like to, which can, again, you want to tailor it toward your market and change and not just copy it, but you can use chat GPT to completely reword it um, and also tailor it to your market. And with web chat GPT, it's going to be updated based on your market. And then you can actually click this link here and it'll open chat GPT and give you a complete summary of the video so if you're looking for bullet points to talk about it will give you that as well all right so those are seven tools that i think every agent should be using especially if you're creating content because it's going to make a world of a difference in terms of the time it takes for you to create content repurpose content distribute content and it's going to give you a really good leg up over your competition that are still doing it the old school archaic way if you have any other tools that you like to use drop a comment below and let me know what your favorite ai tools are otherwise if you have any other questions drop a comment below please make sure to like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next video